We get lots of questions about our requirement for t-shirts and sleepers without feet in our baby care kits. The most obvious reason is that kids grow fast and we're hoping that the kids who receive these kits grow as fast as our kids do here in the United States. And when kids grow fast, they grow out of things really quickly. And onesies you might imagine you could unsnap, but that flap of fabric is gonna get caught in the dirt, the kid's gonna put it in their mouth, hygiene challenges all over the place. Let's make that easier for moms and dads. With sleepers with feet, they're simply gonna outgrow it and not be able to wear it at all. And so by taking the feet off and us finishing them here or finding alternatives that don't have feet at all, we can ensure that those kids can stay in these clothes that you've gone to the trouble of finding and making um, for as long as they possibly can and also providing those parents who don't have alternatives to lots of resources with clothes that will last a longer time. When you're looking for t-shirts, if you can't find just a plain t-shirt in the store, you can also take a onesie and cut the bottom off. You can hem or serge that to create a t-shirt. And you'll notice here in this kit that we actually have two different types. We have a short sleeve shirt and we have a long sleeve shirt, which gives parents great options in varying climates. Another nice thing that you can do is to be intentional about including different sizes of clothes that go into this kit to make sure that, again, the child has something to grow into and that the items last a bit longer. Alternatives to sleepers uh, with feet, as I mentioned, in addition to removing the feet or finding jumpers that don't have feet on them, pants and a shirt are a good alternative. You can find a lot of gowns in the store now and those are easy to find. They're also easy to make and we have a great pattern on our website that you can use to make gowns out of old t-shirts. So that's another great way to get some of those t-shirts out of your drawer that you haven't worn for a long time. Recycle those, very cost effective, they're easy to make. You can find that pattern on our website at lwr.org backslash baby care kits. And we also have a pattern there for an adorable fleece cape that can be substituted in for the sweater. It's easy to make as well. Finally, I know a lot of you like to make uh, blankets for these baby care kits, which is a great idea. It's a precious and handmade thing that parents and children can use. Um, my recommendation would be that you would include one of those handmade blankets in the kit and then use a, um, a store-bought blanket on the outside of the kit so that protects your handmade creation. It also keeps the bulk of the kit down a little bit. And then lastly, diaper pins. Diaper pins we know can be expensive, they can be hard to find, and a good alternative for that is to go to your local craft store and look for quilting pins or craft pins that are a couple of inches long, just regular safety pins. They work just as well, they're cheaper, you can usually buy them in bulk. Hopefully that will save you some time and trouble. Some simple tips for baby care kits.